Welcome back at Johnny's desk. Last time we had a look at how to design a PCB with easy EDA in general. Don't miss to hear the easy EDA song in the last episode. Today I want to show you how to design a PCB especially for SMD assembly service by JLC PCB. We will have a look at how to use standard tools in the program, what design rules to look at, how to choose the right components including basic and extended components by JLC assembly service and how to order the PCB with assembled components. Apart from that you might see me doing the design part including some tips and tricks. Go to file, new and then schematic and start a new schematic diagram. Here we can draw our schematic with all the components and nets of the circuit we want to design. We could add components by choosing them from the EE lib on the left side panel. But for today, because we want to use the assembly service, we don't use this option for our components which get placed by JLC. For the assembly service, we have to choose every component from the JLC assembly library. This might mean that we have to look through many datasheets to find the right components. Take your time to learn the Chinese language or to find the important values in between. Most of the times it works better to choose components from the JLC website itself or from lcsc.com, the company where JLC mainly gets its part from. Here we can just copy the part number or name and paste it into the library search in Easy EDA. Before choosing any component you always have to consider the SMD package, the value like resistance for example. You cannot change these things afterwards. You would have to choose a new component instead. All basic parts are included in the assembly service without extra cost. But for every extended component there are extra fees. We want to mostly use basic components from the JLC component library. Since we want to order the fully assembled board for a relatively low price. At the moment chip diversity is heavily restricted and many chips are not available because of the global semiconductor shortage. Thus we might use some extended components instead. As an example we use my last project, the regulated CVS power supply. The circuit is mainly the same as in the video but in SMD technology. This means we have to search for an SMD alternative for every component I used before. This can also mean that we sometimes have to choose other values than planned. As you might know this is what it looks like when you convert your schematic into a PCB. A mess of components and red nets. Our first step is to sort the components a little bit and group them together. Then we arrange them in a way that the red nets are as short as possible. On the other hand there should be enough clearance between the traces. For that you need a little bit of spatial thinking. When all components are placed we start routing. Routing means connecting all the components until all red nets are gone. Here we have a lot to think of. Some of these things are checked by the DRC, the design rule check. You should always have the right maximum or minimum values of your PCB manufacturer put in here. The program then keeps having a watch over your design rules. What the program is not capable of is setting the right trace width and to find the best way to route your PCB. Although there is an auto router, you shouldn't use it and place the traces yourself instead. At least for your understanding and your learning curve. Nets that carry high currents get bigger traces and nets that carry high voltage need more clearance between other traces or components. The last step is to order the PCB. I use the service by JLC PCB because I just like it. I don't get sponsored or anything, this is just how I do it. Click on fabrication, 
bomb and export the bill of material. Export the pick and place file the same way. Then click PCB fabrication and one click order. If you are already linked into your JLC account in your browser, the Gerber file is already uploaded. On the bottom you can choose the right side for your SMD assembly, top or bottom. Now we just add the bomb and pick and place file in the next step to look over the component list the last time. Then finally your PCBs get manufactured and as fast as you made your PCB design, as fast they arrive at your home. Enjoy your order, tell me in the comments what project you will be making with your new knowledge and subscribe to my channel to learn more about electronics and science. No, don't go! We must test the PCB that just arrived because of time traveling. Because I implemented some through hole components like the transformer, potentiometers and the connectors, I had to solder them first. But then we can test it. Here you have some impressions. If it really works, we will see in another video. So, now I'm out. See you next time at Johnny's Desk. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Bye.